Welcome to VKS Coding. So in this video, we'll talk about CAP theorem. So CAP theorem will be very important in respect to the system design interview, as well as when we design the uh, distributed system. So that time also we have to a uh, trade off between the availability, con consistency, and the partition tolerance. So we'll see everything in detail and trying to understand what is the CAP theorem. Okay. So what is CAP theorem? So CAP theorem states that when we design the distributed system. So between the characteristics of availability, consistency, and partition tolerance, we cannot achieve all three. Two can be achieved, either availability or consistency, or consistency and partition tolerance, and availability or partition tolerance can be achieved. But all three together cannot be achieved. So let's see in detail what is consistency, availability, and partition partition tolerance in detail first and then we'll see what can be achieved or what cannot be achieved so here uh, in the first diagram if we see here so here we have an application and it tried to query the two nodes i have mentioned here node 1 and node 2 suppose uh, application is writing a data like 4 to a node 1 then same data will be replicated to node 2 and when the application try to read uh, from node 2 it is getting this value as 4 so uh, so what is consistency so all nodes should return the same data that is nothing but a consistency it means the application can query either a node 1 or node 2 it will get the same data so that is nothing but a consistency so let's see what is availability so when the application here initially the node 1 and node 2 having the data like node isn't having a 5 and same it was replicated to node 2 a 5 and now the application is writing the uh, 4 to a node 1 so now it is uh, the value will become 4 but there is no sync between the node 1 and node 2 so it won't be able to replicate the data to the node 2 but when the application query the node 2 then it will return the older data so here the 5 will be returned so in availability what happens is all the nodes should respond either a success or failure so it could return the older data as well but systems to respond so in the availability so all the systems will respond so that is nothing but the availability let's see the partition tolerance so this is the third one so suppose here again we have application and node 1 and node 2 suppose there is a network failure happened between the this node 1 and node 2 and we are not able to uh, connect to this node 2 right so when the application write the data to a node 1 it's 4 and when you try to give the read request then you can read the data from node 1 right so in partition tolerance what it says even the network is broken down between node 1 and node 2 but application can still query and get the data so it means after it is the system is partition tolerant so here we, we can see the network is failure between node 1 and node 2 but our application still query the uh, node 1 and get the data and it can also write the data so the system is not affected even the uh, network is broke down between two nodes so it means our system is partition tolerant so now I, we have understood what is consistency, availability and the partition tolerance. So we will see few cases what can be achieved and what cannot be achieved. So here the first is the case one. So we have an application and we have a DB node here having the value 4 and we have a DB node value having the 4. Means the both the node having the data between it is in the sync. Right. Now what happens? Suppose this... Uh, link is down for 10 minute link is down for 10 minute now the right request come to the node 1 5 now 5 is written to node 1 but it is not able to replicate the data into the node 2 because the link is down for 10 minute so now when the application query the uh, read request to the db node 2 it will return the data 4 that is called older data so now uh, when we see our cap theorem CAP so is our system is consistent no our system is not consistent because uh, the DV node 1 is having the latest data 5 but DV node 2 uh, having the older data so our system is not consistent is our system is available both the system can respond 
So yes, if the application can query the node one, it will return the latest data. If the application can query the node two, which can return the older data. So yes, our system is available. Is our system is partition tolerant? So when the link is broken down between node and node two, the ap application can still query and get the data either from node one or node two. So yes, our system is partition tolerant. So same thing I have defined here. So after uh, so in the consistency after network partition, data is not consistent between the nodes. So consistency is given up here, and the for the availability both the net can both the node can return the data either success or failure, or it can return the older data as well. And to comply the partition uh, tolerance after the network is broken down be between the two DB nodes, uh, application can query, still query and get the data. But it can get the original data or the older data. But it can get the data, query and get the data. It's me. It means we are given a fair consistency. So it is kind of a availability and partition tolerant. In the case one, we are able to achieve it. So this system is available and partition tolerant. So let's see uh, another case. Uh, can we achieve the uh, different combination for from uh, this cap theorem? So let's see the another example. So we have a case two here. Now we we don't want to given up for the consistency. So same thing uh, we'll see here. So uh, suppose here the application is trying to write the data and both the nodes having in the sync earlier. First it is in sync and both having the old data four four, and so link is down for ten minute. Link is down for. Ten minute and the right request is coming as five. So now uh, here the node one data is updated as a five, but we don't want to give the uh, consistency. So even the uh, node one having the latest data and node two is not having the latest data. So what we can do? We can uh, shut down this system. Basically, we can shut down this system. Because it is not uh, shut down the system, basically shut down the uh, this DB node, uh, because this is not having the latest data. So this application can query all the node, the node one, and it can get the latest data. So we are able to achieve the consistency. So are we able to achieve the availability? So node one can respond, but node two is down. It cannot be able to respond. So it means we are given up for availability. And in partition tolerant, is the application can query and get the data after even a network failure between the nodes. So yes, even the network failure happen between the nodes, application can still query the node one and get the data. Even it can write it and read it. So it can get it from this one, node one. So so yes, uh, our system is partition tolerant. So. Uh, So same thing I have updated here. So we have achieved the uh, consistency by setting on the setting down the system of node two here, and availability is dropped because this are uh, now the DB node two cannot respond, and partition tolerant the system is because even the network is partitioned here, application can query query and get the data. So this statement is not valid here. This statement is valid for uh, previous one because uh, we are not given here for consistency. So it can get the latest data. Whatever the node is not having the latest data, we'll shut down those machines until the link is come up and we get the data to the another node. So in this case too, we are able to achieve the consistency plus partition. So uh, again, in case two, we are not able to achieve the all three. now but we wanted to our system should be uh, consistent now we'll see the case 3 uh, where we can given up the partition tolerant and see what can be done so this is the uh, third example so here the application is there again the node one is having the four data is a four and node two is also having the data both are in sync right now and now the link is down for 10 minute link is down for 10 minute now uh, we don't want to give enough for we want system should be uh, consistent and available but we can give it for partition tolerant so in partition tolerant uh, what it says after the network partition happen between the node application should not be able to query the uh, 
nodes and it should not able to get the data means read should also be blocked and write should also be blocked from both the nodes so it is blocked until analyst link should be up the application should not be able to write anything to the any node and it should also not able to read from anything from the any of the node so this is how we are able to achieve the consistency and availability over the giving of the partition so this is the uh, worst case scenario because uh, we should not uh, given up for the partition because for good application even the network is broken down very easily in the distributed system so we our system should respond so let's see the conclusion which is the best trade off to choose between the consistency availability and partition tolerant and which should we given up and which should we consider it so we have seen the three cases so we are able to achieve only two we are not able to achieve all three so let's see the conclusion and try to understand so here is the conclusion so uh, we have tried the three cases so we are able to achieve the partition tolerant and availability uh, by giving up the consistency and the second one we are able to achieve the partition tolerant and the consistency by giving up the availability and the third uh, scenario we are able to achieve the consistency plus availability by giving up the partition and what is not possible all three combination is not possible availability consistency plus partition tolerant so uh, whenever we have to design the distributed system right so we should never trade off for partition tolerant because network failure is very common in the uh, distributed environment or any application so see, our system should respond otherwise it will be a very bad user experience for uh, a user for using that application right so whenever we have to design the system so all, we should always trade off between the availability and the consistency so here we have to trade off for availability and consistency so this is all about the cap theorem and i hope i am able to make you about clear about the versus consistency availability and partition tolerant what can be trade off and what cannot be trade off so please do subscribe to my channel to get the more update on the system design topics